Good morning. Good morning, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Brianna. Hi, I'm Corey. This is Corey, and today we are headed to Epcot, and we are so, so excited. So it is 7.14 a.m. We are getting ready. We have Via Napoli for lunch today again, which I absolutely love. We already booked Remy's, and we have a lightning lane for Test Track around, I think it was 12.30 or 12.40. So we're gonna end up trying to rope drop Frozen, get a lot of the rides done, and then just graze throughout the day. Make sure to stick around for that. So this is the first time you're watching the video. Be sure to subscribe for her because she's the best like for me because I'm hilarious and we're about to have some fun so enjoy the content. And we're going to have some fun today so let's go to Epcot. We're going to hop on the Skyliner now. It's 7.15 so we're trying to get into Epcot for early entry which starts at 8 a.m. so we will see you when we get to Epcot. We have made it to Epcot. It is 7.50. Technically early park entry is from 8 to 8.30 so we are going to hop in line for Frozen and try to rope drop that so that we can get a lightning lane for it later. Ultimately we're just going to be grazing and, and kind of eating today so we are here for as you can see behind Corey's head flower and garden which is super exciting so we're excited to do some stuff today at flower and garden and eat and just have a really nice relaxing Epcot day I think Epcot is one of my if not sometimes I think my favorite park because it's so yeah. relaxing and so enjoyable so for me it's turning quickly into number two into number two I know we originally a few months ago we did our top favorites like first to fourth and this one was third and fourth for us and now yeah. I feel like it's just we can't even would never even no. be that low so now we are going to head into Epcot and enjoy the day, but we are going to take my dad on Frozen, and then once we finish up at Frozen, we will check in and give you a better course scape of the day. Yep. Finished up doing Frozen. It is 8.53, but we actually get ended up getting in Frozen's line at 8.09. We were off the ride by 8.17. Then we walked over to Test Track at what? 8... <sighs> Must have been 8:20, and it's 8:53. We literally walked right in, built our car, and got on the ride. But so that was had so a lot good. Of, like interactive stuff before. Yeah. So when you, you like build do. your car for the first four minutes. So now we're actually gonna head into the creation shop, and we'll see if there's anything new. All right. So we're in the creation shop. We just checked out. There's a ton of flower and garden merch here, and I'm reaching in the bottom of my bag. So we ended up getting a pin, and it's the flower and garden Think Orange limited release pin, and it's got Orange Bird and the Epcot ball but it looks like half an orange half which is so cute so I love this for our pin board and then Corey it's already wrapped up in the bag but he got a cute little R2-D2 mug and the whole thing is R2 which is so cute now that we're Star Wars fans. It is still pretty early. I think a lot of the booths are hopefully going to open soon. I'm not exactly sure. I do know that we're going to be walking around and doing a lot through Flower and Garden today, which is going to be exciting. Now we're going to head over to the Living with the Land Pavilion because we're going to actually take my dad on Soren and Living with the Land. If we can bang out some of these rides in the morning, that means that we can technically lightning lane them in the afternoon if we would like to. So that's kind of our plan. And then we'll probably grab a little food, a little something, maybe a coffee because we kind of rush out of our room this morning. So so let's head to the Living with the Land Pavilion. Finished up doing Soren, Living with the Land, super fun. It is now 11.02 and we are starting Flower and Garden and we started at Flavorful Kitchen. It is between Imagination and the Refreshment Port and we got the corn on the cob with savory garlic spread and the seared salmon, which look delicious. For reference, corn on the cob, salmon. And we're gonna try them. But I'm trying this first, that's not even a question. Okay. Try this. That's, that's better. Good. That's so, awesome. So, so I would give the corn quick snack for on the go. I do think it's good. I would say like seven out of ten, but the salmon, I would give this like a nine out of ten. Yeah. Like this is that's very good. So so good. So this is flavorful kitchen. Overall, including the both, I would say eight out of ten for flavorful kitchen. I agree. So we're gonna finish up eating what we have, and then we're actually gonna get the frozen violet lemonade, which is like the drink of the festival. We have the frozen desert violet lemonade from Pineapple. It does not tell me what is in here. It looks very fruity, so we're gonna give it a roll. Oh, Brianna. We are spilling this absolutely everywhere. They but did, we did to fill get... it to the brim. Cheers, let's try it. Mm. Oh my gosh. Is this okay? Oh my god, this is amazing. You did you eat like the flower? That. No, I threw it away. I threw mine away too. This is delicious. My mother would like this. I do think it might be a little sour for her. However, refreshing, non alcoholic drink for the whole family. 10 out of 10. Would you say this? But if you threw some vodka in this, mm. Mm. I'll take that every day of the week. We got the spicy hot dog. Same location, pineapple promenade. With pineapple chutney and plantain chips. That's pretty fancy. Cheers, buddy. The sauce on top is kind of like an aioli. That's spicy. Oh, okay. But then you get the hint of pineapple in there, which makes you 
away from Russia. Overall, pineapple promenade, going based off just this violet lemonade, 100% would be 10 out of 10. So that was our second one. Now we're gonna, I think, potentially head in the direction of Canada. We almost have to backtrack a smidge. So we're gonna end up probably going in that direction. My dad and I just ran to Northern Bloom in Canada. Corey went to the refreshment port in- Outside of outside Canada. Outside of Canada. And Corey ended up getting the, come here, Corey. What'd you get? I got the Italian sausage and peppers poutine. Okay, so Corey's gonna try that. And then we ended up getting the seared sea scallops and the steak as well, which looked delicious. And then my dad ended up getting us two of the like peach cobbler almost cakes. So we're gonna give all these a go. I'm gonna start with the seared scallop. A little scallop, green bean, and potatoes. It's a lot better than the last scallop that they had. Dad's trying dessert. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> okay. I don't need to say anymore. Here's my problem with the meal. Scallop is cooked well. The potatoes are star of the show. The green bean is super underdone. I didn't have a bean. Okay, you try a bean and you tell me if you would agree with that. Oh. I think the bean is super, super underdone. Yeah. I would have to say that I prefer the meal from Flower and Garden last year, the scallop, over this scallop. So I would give this probably a 6.5. I was going to say 6. 6.5 out of 10 for the scallop meal. This is the grilled pound cake with peach. What would you give 1 out of 10? 10. You're giving everything a 10. No, You're this not is, a very hard critic. No, this is a 10. Now we're trying the beef tenderloin or beef oh with a little bit of like mushroom gravy, carrots, and potato. So I'm going to just start with a little potato in the gravy. That potato is home run the beef is actually very good it's just a little tougher than what i like okay. well not nah, the flavor wise it's there it's very good okay but let's try the steak out 100 percent agree with corey beef is definitely a little overdone so i would i would say that overall probably six i'm gonna give it a seven because the potatoes are really good in the gravy so i'm gonna give this a seven overall for me northern bloom for their food would give it a seven. I got the homemade Italian sausage. They did preface on the menu that this was not made from any animal products, so I don't know if this is kind of like an impossible meat. You couldn't even tell, I mean, texture-wise you could tell it's not meat, but from a flavor profile, it, there's no difference. So if you're a vegetarian or even vegan, not too sure, this is a great meatless option for you if you want if you want to try something out. Give them that an eight. I it would feels give... Brianna's on edge, there's a bird near us. So I'm not, not too thrilled. We have made it to Mexico. I got, what flavor is this? Strawberry. strawberry. So I got the like standard strawberry, and then Corey ended up getting the strawberry lime. We got the taco vampiria. She's here, barbacoa, basically street corn. So we're gonna give this a go. I'm just not a cheesy crust person. Love it. We know where that's going. <laughs> ten out of ten. This is like the best thing I feel like I've eaten all day. We have finished up in Mexico. I would rate the Flower and Garden booth a ten out of ten because I love the taco. I love the outside of the cheese. I loved every. Everything. And Corey, on the other hand, rates it. I will give it a seven. Okay. The filling was great. The beef was really seasoned the super well, was soft. Phenomenal. Yeah. So it is ten of two. Our lunch reservations in the next twenty-five minutes, and we're gonna go to lunch at Via Napoli. We did do a full lunch review of this already because we've been to Via Napoli. We came on our December trip. After we end up finishing up with lunch, we're actually gonna head back to our resort and do a little bit of a break for the afternoon, just because we have a little bit of a longer day today. Because we're actually I snack a last minute reservation at Topolino's Terrace, which we're so excited about to take my dad to. So we are going to head over and go to lunch now at Via Napoli. Cheers. for lunch. It was delicious as usual. We ended up getting a little charcuterie board as well, which was really, really good, I would say. The only thing is, is if you're looking for a cracker to come with it, it only comes with the long skinny bread stick, so I would order the focaccia. Like yes. if you're looking for more bread, as my dad was, which we ended up Especially ordering. Especially if you have an Italian that doesn't know what to do with his with hands. With his hands, just get him bread. Get him bread. So we are finished up now with Vienna Poli. We are actually going to go back to Pop for about an hour, hour and change, just to rest. We do have a little bit of a longer night tonight than we've had on others. And then we are headed back to Topolino's Terrace for dinner tonight, which is going to be amazing, which we both can't wait for because it's our literal favorite restaurant. There it is. It is our favorite <laughs> restaurant. 
is our favorite restaurant at Disney property, so we are super excited. So we will check in with you when we are headed back to Epcot after we take a little bit of a rest and relaxation. Epcot. We feel rested, we feel rejuvenated. We are headed back to Epcot, which I'm super excited about because we have Remy's, which is Corey's favorite ride at 7.45. I know I'm more rested and I'm moment. really lovey dovey. I just want to be <laughs> snuggling still. But we have Remy at 7.45. Takes about a half hour, 35-ish minutes to get right from Pop Century, like directly from our room to Epcot, the International Gateway. We're gonna head out and head on over to Epcot and then we're headed to Topolino's for dinner. And that's it. We'll check in with you when we get back to Epcot. The prettiest gal in school. Talking about the Epcot ball. I could just stare at the Epcot ball forever because I just absolutely love it. However, we are back in Epcot. Again, just so beautiful. We have Goofy Happy Birthday Topiary, which is so, so cute. So now for the rest of the afternoon, we're actually gonna get my dad. He's in the creation shop doing a little bit of shopping. And we're gonna head to Remy's, which is so exciting. But oh, hi, monorail. Hi. I just like love watching the monorail do just about anything. Today's just been such a beautiful, relaxing, absolutely lovely day. Corey and I just did a whole like little photo shoot. So I will make sure to insert some clips and just some really fun, goofy videos that him and I just had the opportunity to shoot. Your boy was looking fly. Yeah, Corey was looking fly. And it was just, it's really fun to be taking a lot of photos together in Epcot because we don't really get to do it all too often. But when we're here, we like to try to get a lot because it is basically our new favorite park. So that's about it. Any other any other updates? Are you having a good day? I'm having a fabulous day. You're beautiful. Those are the only updates I have. Oh my so God. Here we go. You're so sweet. All right, well, so now we're gonna go back, pick up my dad at the creation shop. All right, so we have a completely different change of scenery, and I'm smiling from ear to ear because we are at Topolino's Terrace. We ended up watching the fireworks from their balcony, and it is still 9.18, so we have a few minutes left, and we just sat. And our table, you can see the fireworks going off. You can see my finger. This is Corey. We're so excited. My dad's here sitting next to us. So if you can make a dining reservation at Topolino's from anywhere from like 9 to 9, 10, 9, 20, you can watch the fireworks on the balcony, sit and even enjoy the fireworks right from your table. So we are loving it. And Topolino's will also play the music of the Epcot fireworks to round out on the balcony as well. I have a very spectacular drink here. This is the Modern Bash. But then here's a little pro tip for you. There's a bartender here. He's the only one that's able to do this. His name is Gabe. He will smoke it for you. And he smoked it for me. I learned this little tidbit from friends that we met from California while on the Skyliner. And he told me to do it that way. And he was available. So I got it. It's absolutely spectacular. So we just got our food and I ended up getting the Soul, which is what Corey had the last time because it was absolutely delicious. And it comes with a like lemon butter sauce and these little baby bliss potatoes. The best thing I've ever eaten in my life. I got the veal chop. Veal chop. Highly recommended by our waiter Mike. Let's look at it. A 10 out of 10? Yeah? So I guess yours is good. Alright dad. What'd you get? The rigatoni? The rigatoni with broccoli rabe and the chicken. Yes. All right, you give it a try. Let's okay. see how you think. Let's see what you like about Topolino's. Automatic. Dad's first Topolino's experience. <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> really good. So we're gonna finish up our meals. Corey's meal's amazing. Dad's loving his pasta and I am loving my fish. So once again, a Topolino's Terrace experience, 10 out of 10. We are back a pop. We are ready for bed. We are tired. Riviera was absolutely delicious. We had a wonderful server. So now we're gonna do our three favorites of the day and I think I'm ready to start. First was being able to watch the fireworks from the Riviera. That was so fun and they ended up playing the Epcot music as well. So it wasn't that you couldn't hear the music and you were just seeing fireworks from far away. So that was definitely my first. Second favorite of the day was riding Frozen just because I really love to ride Frozen. So I would say, I guess Frozen was my second. And then my third favorite was my Norway shirt. So I actually ended up finding a really cute gray t-shirt in the Epcot Norway pavilion. And it has like a huge like skiing Mickey on the back and it's really, really cool. So that's my third favorite. First off is the copious amounts of food that I ate. Oh yeah, Epcot the food was today. great, the salmon. That was fun. And number two, Photo shoot at the end of the day when you're down that in the creation fun. shop because we actually had some good pics come out of that. My veal drop was 
literally outrageous. This is going to end the vlog series because tomorrow is our final day. Make sure if you have not already to hit that subscribe button down below for me. Give this video a big thumbs up for Corey if you like seeing Corey's face around and make sure that you comment down below your favorite part of the day. But thanks so much for being here and we hope to see you in the next Disney video. Bye everyone. Bye.